Hi everyone. Is this the Garcia family? Yes. Welcome, welcome to campus. Um, my name is Juan. I'm gonna be your ringleader for today. Um, and we do just ask that you keep your masks on um, throughout the experience. When we go outside and we were taking pictures, you're more than welcome to remove the masks as we will be distanced from the photographer. Does anyone have any questions before we start the video for you today? No. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Juan Espinosa. I'm the Transfer Student Engagement Coordinator here on campus. Um, one of my other duties as assigned in my job role is uh, a mem being a member of the Ring Ceremony Committee. Uh, this specific video is going to walk you through what the Ring Ceremony is going to look like for this semester, Fall 20. So for those of you that have attended, right, you know that we typically fill the auditorium with friends and family. Uh, the ceremony has the ring recipient walking across the stage and receiving the ring from the president. Um, and then we all go outside to the seal to where everyone's kind of rushed through and you, I think you have like 15 or 20 seconds on the seal. Um, and then you get a cupcake and you go home, right? It's very fast, it's very quick, but it's a huge tradition and it brings about 1,600 people on campus and on that one day. The way the ring ceremony is gonna look like this semester is, uh, or I guess the biggest difference is that we won't have a lot of friends and family here on campus. And what we're doing this year is we're spanning the ring ceremony over two and a half, three days. So we have Friday from two to 6 p.m., Saturday the 7th of November between nine and six, and then Sunday uh, we will be here on campus welcoming re ring recipients between nine and six as well. We will have two ring recipients here um, every 10 minutes. And the reason why we're starting here in the auditorium is because um, this is where the experience changes. We will have a very tailored position that will help guide the ring recipients and their families throughout this, uh, throughout this ceremony um, known as the ring leader, okay? Which is what this training is all about. Uh, the ring leader, which are representatives from our very own student organizations, will have the opportunity to take the ring recipient from the auditorium out to the seal, to another photo opportunity that we'll talk about here in a little bit. We'll take them through the SciTech lobby and then they're off to hopefully go have brunch or dinner or something like that with their friends and family. The ring leader position is the uh, targeted position in this entire experience that's going to make up essentially for uh, the ceremony not being the same. But as a ringleader, you will, you will be able to provide an individualized experience for that ring recipient and whoever joins them. So here in the auditorium, you'll welcome them, right? Uh, so let's just take Jules Garcia, right? She was a, a 2020 uh, ring recipient, ring awardee, and their fam you know, her and her family are gonna come in. So you would greet them with enthusiasm, uh, through enthusiasm and you would, you would know who's coming in by our registration RSVP list that you will have. But basically, say, you know, basically saying, hi, welcome, is this the Garcia family, right? My name is Juan Espinosa, I'm going to be your fall 2020 ring leader. Um, please wait here while we wait for the, for the video to start. You'll, you'll, you'll have a script. You'll also be, will be provided with a guide book that will give you uh, 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 details on tradition, details on campus information, fun facts um, that you will be able to use to engage. Um, but as a ringleader, you will be able to help them and aid them in thinking of the different poses or, or uh, uh, group, um, groups that, that they want to take pictures in. Right, and then, and then you'll go to different areas, but I think, you know, at, through it all, the ringleader is going to be that individual that will help them with all of it. At the end of this experience, like I said, they'll be leaving through the SciTech lobby, but it'll be more so like, 
All right, guys, again, my name was Juan. I, it was a pleasure being your ringleader for today. Here is some information on a survey on our ring ceremony. We want to hear from you on what your experience was like today. How can we improve? What can we do better to help future ring recipients uh, and, and, and their experience in receiving their ring in their special moment? You want them, that specific family, that ring recipient, to say, wow, like we were expecting something and we got something completely different, but what we got was special and tailored and focused and we felt special. Stay tuned, keep on watching. We'll have a couple of time lapses and maps uh, uh, put up here for you so that you can kind of see what the schematics are going to look like. But we wanted to start the video here because the families, as they come into the auditoriums, our ringleaders will be positioned here ready to accept our ring recipients and ready to start the experience that they'll be providing. Um, again, at the end of this training, you should feel pumped and motivated to play this role. This is going to be a thing. This is not just a fall 2020, you know, pandemic role. This role is being ingrained into the tradition of the ring ceremony. And you, you uh, are going to be the very first ringleaders for our campus. So I'm super proud that, you're, um, that you've chosen to accept this challenge. And here we go. All right, everyone. I want to talk to you all specifically about what your verbiage and what your scripting is going to be in every single individual spot, right? And we don't, we don't have very many. The first one is when you greet them inside the auditorium. Second one is at the seal. Third, which is optional, is the inflatable ring. And then the fourth would be uh, the two tabling, the two booths with Alumni Affairs and the Family Association greet them in the auditorium and say, right, hey, my name is Juan. Thank you so much for uh, coming onto campus. Congratulations on this very exciting day. The ring recipient will go get their ring, um, you know, and then fr straight from there, you'll take them straight to the seal. So there will be no video watching. Will the video still be created? Yes, the president is going to be recorded going over the symbolism of the ring. Um, so that's one of the things that you may want to cover while they're over the seal, right? Um, we'll provide you a QR code that they can scan and that they can watch um, as they are, as you're guiding them from station to station, or they can just watch it um, um, whenever they want. Just want to let them know that, you know, make sure they know your name. You'll have, you know, stuff on that says that you're a ringleader, obviously, but you want to make sure that you start that connection straight from the auditorium. All right, guys, so uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take you out to the seal, uh, which is literally only open for this one tradition here on campus. The entire other time throughout the year, it's chained off. And there's actually a fine that <laughs> individuals can get if they are caught with stepping on the seal. It's that special. Um, we do have coffee right out here. So we're gonna exit these main doors and we're gonna give you an opportunity to get some coffee if you'd like. And then we will uh, head on over to the seal for some photographs. Any questions for me before we exit the auditorium? No. Awesome, let's go. All right guys, so we're actually gonna have everyone exit the main doors of the auditorium. So if you, those of you who have been in the auditorium know that there are a set of doors on that side and then there's a set of doors on this side. So the way we're going to social distance and kind of make sure everyone is nice and safe, like I said, there's gonna be two families, two ring recipients scheduled per 10 minutes. Student A will come in through this door. Student B will come in, will come in through the other along with their families. But because we are having families and ring recipients go in through those doors, we will be using these doors to exit. Um, right up here on the right hand side, um, in the space between the auditorium and the cafeteria, we will have uh, some complimentary coffee set up. Um, it'll be, uh, there'll be a volunteer there to pour the coffee, but more importantly, like the creamers and the sugars and all of that will be pre-packaged. So there won't be any, any, um, germs or people using the same bottles of sugar or whatever. Um, we do ask that you bring them through 
the awning, you can walk them through here. We also ask that you address them just like this, right? So I'm walking backwards, I'm kind of checking as I go, but nice and slow, not too fast of a pace, especially if there is someone who's in a wheelchair or needs assistance walking. So you can take it as, as slow as you need to, but no faster than this. Um, obviously you'll wait there until they get their coffee if they want their coffee. Um, and then we will bring them around to the seal here, which is up on our left. All right, ringleaders. So the next station that you would be um, really engaging the ring recipient and their families with is at the seal. And this is a pretty important highlight of the entire event, right? We've assessed ring recipients and families and they have told us that out of everything, right? Receiving the ring from the president on stage, you know, from that to the cupcakes and the balloons and, and, and all of that, putting the ring on for their very first time and getting, um, you know, a photo of that moment is the most special thing. And also, right, the seal is sealed off, like it's blocked off the entire year, right? And now they're finally able to walk on this seal for this moment. So this is it, right? Out of everything that we do as a ringleader, this is the most important opportunity for you to make them feel special. Uh, about five things you want to make sure you cover here. First one is um, we have about five minutes on the seal. With five minutes, you can do a lot, but you're going to be the one to kind of manage that, right? So it would look a little bit like, all right, guys, here's the seal. Uh, go ahead and step on. Let's go ahead and have the ring recipient put the ring on for the very first time over the seal. Is someone in the family going to put the ring on them, right? So say it's dad, it's mom, it's grandma, it's husband, it's child, whoever it is. That probably needs to be the first photo that the professional photographer will be taking, right? So you would have the rest of the family kind of stand off to the side, let that be the first photo moment. As soon as that is taken, the photographer says that they got the moment. Change around the poses, right? Let's have parents. If there are siblings, let's have children. Let's have, you know, all of those things. It'll be a really nice photo moment. Like I said, there's going to be flowers and a big uh, balloon arch. Um, so you can really take the time to facilitate those different poses within the five minutes. Um, masks can come off for the photo. The only thing that we ask is that you not take the masks from them. So they would take the mask off, put it in their pocket, put it in their purse, keep it in their hand, whatever it is, but you should not handle their masks. Um, also, um, you will have, right, so very similar to something like this, it's not going to be as fancy, but something printed in, in house um, will be the information on where to find the photos. Um, so whether it's flashphotography.com, whether it's flickr.com, any one of those websites that we use to house these professional photos, you will have that information to provide them. Uh, we'll probably put it on a business card and you'll be able to just hand them the business card so they can take that with them. Uh, one of the things that you'll be able to do is as a ringleader, you will be able to identify a junior ringleader. So say there's a, a small child or a couple of small kids, right? They can all be junior ringleaders and you'll have stickers that we're going to be able to give them. Maybe you want to do a pose with just the junior ringleaders, right? Just the kids and the ring recipient. Get creative, make sure that it's an experience through and through, um, but you'll also be provided that additional piece of engagement as a ringleader. Right, let's just say the scenario is this. Um, the ring recipient hasn't put it on yet, right? They got it at check-in. They were looking at it while watching the video. They're coming out to the seal and it's the first time they put it on and it doesn't fit. Okay, let's just, let's unpack that real quick. If it doesn't fit or say they requested for something to be engraved on the inside of the ring. Say they're supposed to get a B-A-A-S and it says a B-A-S. Don't panic, right? Don't panic. 
make it seem that we're prepared for some of these things, which we are, because Herf Jones, the ring vendor, will actually be on campus throughout the entire uh, three or two and a half days that we do ring days. Just let them know, don't worry, right? If there's a size issue, if there's uh, an issue with, with, with color, right? There's so many options, We're missing diamond, maybe it's not antique and they wanted it antique or they wanted it classic and it came out on something else. You can take them straight from the seal to the other stations, okay? Uh, so the next station will be the inflatable ring uh, and then off to the SciTech lobby. And if they still, and if they want to have a discussion with Herf Jones to see what they can do to correct the ring, that would happen at the end. Don't break the station, the order of the stations in order to go talk to Herf Jones. Let them, let them know that you're gonna walk them through the other stations and then at the very end, we can hook them up with a Herf Jones representative where their concerns can be addressed. Okay, and it may not even be concerns about uh, the ring or how the ring looks. They may have a balance, right? And, you know, dad's ready to pay the rest off or they're ready to pay the rest off. They would need to touch base with, with a uh, Herf Jones representative. All right, guys. So as soon as the families and the ring recipients finish their photo at the seal, what we're going to want to do is, you know, you're going to know what student you have. You're either going to have the A student or the B student, right? They use that specific door going into the auditorium lobby and the auditorium. What we want to do is we want to also create a separate path for A students and B students and their families. So as the ringleaders are coming up here, they'll talk about the photos, where to find the photos. You're going to give them a link that they'll be able to go onto the website and print their own photos. Um, but as we come up to this fork in the road, we will have A students go this way and B students or A student ringleaders go this way and B student ringleaders go this way. So let's just say we're B student ringleaders. We would take them down this route, right? Nice and slow, no faster than what you did down under the awning. And you would continue to talk about certain things. Maybe we wanna to talk to them about uh, Lights of Esperanza, right? That's coming up December 1st. What does that experience look like, right? Make sure to put it on your calendars. Um, we also may wanna talk about commencement, right? Um, a lot of families are gonna have questions about, okay, my child just got their ring or they got their ring mailed to them or what have you. Now, what's next, right? When is commencement? What does that look like? Uh, where can I find more information? So you'll have all of that information with you. You will be, you will have those dates, the information, the details, as as a, just as a tool for you to be able to answer some of those questions. Again, it's really answering the questions from the families, like what kind of questions do they have about the ceremony or really anything else about the institution. Okay, ring leaders. So the second to last stop is going to be the inflatable ring. Uh, just as I had mentioned earlier, if you're student A, you'll go that way on the ellipse. Student B, you'll go that way on the ellipse in the courtyard headed to the Madla statue. Um, but there are a couple of things we want to make sure that we understand. First and foremost is that this photo op is optional. Um, because we don't have a professional photographer set up at this um, at this station. This is very casual, right? These are fun poses. If they brought balloons, they can bring the balloons in. If they have, you know, flowers, if they want to jump and, and, you know, any of those things, they can happen. However, it's either going to be a family member that's going to be taking these photos with their cell phones or if the ring recipient does attend alone, then you would be the one taking this shot for them with their own cell phone. Um, you can remind them on the certain hashtags that we would love for them to use on uh, any Instagram post, be hashtag Jaguar ring with two R's and hash or hashtag ring day. 
Um, they also have about, you know, five minutes to, to play around with different poses and stuff like that. This is the first time that we have purchased uh, an, a huge inflatable ring, right? So let's take the opportunity to, to, to get some good photos for them. Um, also, masks can come off. Again, do not take them from them. They have to keep those masks on their person. Um, but again, you want to let them know as you leave the seal and you're on your way on your way to the inflatable ring. If they're not interested in in going to this station, there's there's no worry. You can go straight from the seal over to the SciTech lobby. Okay. So once that photo op is completed, you want to take them straight down this way toward the SciTech. Because if you remember, the A family ringleaders are going to be using that side of the quad. So you just want to bring them out up here. We're going to take them into the SciTech lobby where you'll soon see we will have alumni affairs set up and we will have the family association set up as well. Once we do go inside or as we are entering the building, we want to remind any family member who maybe has removed their mask, right, because of photos and this and that, we want to make sure that they put the masks on before they come back into the building. Um, here is where you can give them some additional information on alumni affairs and what they do. Obviously, they, there will be a table inside along with family association, but maybe talk about some of the events that Alumni Affairs and Family Association partnered with Family Engagement do host for families. Um, so let's go on in. This is actually the location for Plan B or the rain plan. So just as we just mentioned, the large inflatable ring is going to be in front of the Madla statue. Um, if it is raining or very windy to where the ring is not going to be able to stay up, we will position the ring here. It'll be inside the lobby and we will provide the casual photo opportunity here inside this lobby. If it's just a regular beautiful day like today, the ring, the inflatable ring will stay outside in front of the Madla statue. So as you all come in, I would suggest the families, if they want to sanitize as they're passing the sanitation station, if anyone needs to stop and use the restroom, most restrooms are here located in the hallway. But you're going to walk them through this way toward the May Center lobby. Here on the wall, there are some um, Magnet replicas of some artwork. You can certainly touch on this. Um, and again, you'll have that information for you. You'll either have it physically printed in a booklet, or what we're also going to do is provide it in a PDF copy. So if you just want to refer to your phone, you can certainly do that as well. So we've arrived at the last station, the last and final station of the ring ceremony experience. This is where you want to leave that lasting experience as a ring leader. Um, they're going to talk to alumni affairs, which they'll get a, a custom cookie and, and information on what alumni affairs does or offers uh, future alumni of the university. And then also you will have Family Association there. Family Association actually is going to provide them with a frame, a paper frame. So it has the, the silver seal on that they stand on for their ring. It says ring ceremony, <coughs> excuse me, A&M University San Antonio. And whatever photo they decide to print, right, whatever photo they want to go ahead and put in here and commemorate that experience, maybe even gift it to a grandma, to parents, or whatever, they will be receiving these from Family Association. And I think they can re receive up to two per family, per ring recipient. Um, so we wanna make sure that, again, going back to the, the, the um, 
a resource that you're going to have. Uh, we want to talk to them about um, the survey. We want to hear from how they felt and, and what they thought of this experience. Assessing this experience, because we are changing it, is going to be very important. Um, but as a ringleader, you're, you're going to be the driving force on what this experience is going to continue to look like, right? Um, so that's going to be the, the very last thing. As I mentioned before, you're going to walk them out of the SciTech maze lobby and out back to the lot two so that they can uh, continue out their day off campus. Um, we do want to remind them you can do it throughout, you can do it at the beginning, you can remind them there at the end that um, every family is timed at about 30 minutes for their time on campus and after that we do ask that they uh, leave campus, right? Go have lunch, go have dinner, go have brunch um, because we will have a ton of other family members on campus and we want to make sure that we're giving everyone their space. Um, and if you do have any questions outside of what has been covered in the video, um, please, please let me know. You will be receiving this through Christina. It would be, uh, we're going to send it to everyone in a PDF co copy so that you can maybe just have it on your phone. Um, or if you want a printout, we'll have a printout of this so that you can take it with you throughout um, the different stations throughout the day. Thanks, guys.